Greetings people, it's Jared here, Wolfgang1, back to do another Transformers review. Do you know, at some point, right, at some point, I'm actually going to finish these fucking Combiner Wars protector bots, right? I'm going to do the fucking, the main body, I'm going to do the last limb, I'm going to do the whole fucking combined mode, and then it'll be done, right? Finished. Finito. Ah, but, as of always with me, I tend to get sidetracked with other things, hence why this has taken fucking the better part of a year do or whatever. Anyway, I'm pushing on with um, Combiner Wars Product Spot Rook. And Rook is one of those um, uh, one of those new moulds, if you will, that they thought, fuck it, we can, we can get everything we can out of this. So I think this got redone into uh, Swindle, I think. Uh, I think it might have even been done as um, Combiner Wars Hound as well. Um, personally, I think the body shape in that is fucking not appropriate for Hound, but what do I know? I'm not a Hasbro executive or a toy designer. I'm just the cunt buying them. Um, so, protectable, uh, protector bot, sorry, Rook, uh, from the Combiner Wars series. Um, he can form an arm, he can form a leg, if you were that way inclined. Um, and with the Combiner Wars, much like the Generation 1 counterpart, um, the limbs are interchangeable on any Combiner in any formation, except that obviously in the main body. Um, and you know what, he's alright. He's he's a bit basic in the actual overall design, and for some, for me, part of his um, proportions don't quite feel right. But you know, whatever. Um, he's in his box. There's not a lot I can say about him in his box. Look on the back. Uh, you've got that lovely little Photoshop thing that actually makes it look like they put more effort into it than indeed they did. Um, heavily armoured hero fiercely hauls wounded bots out of danger. Oh, that's fucking nice, isn't it? Um, it turns into a, a sort of like a, a SWAT team APC thing. I don't know, something like that. Um, yeah, and he's, he's sort of n quite nondescript in the package. There's not a lot you can say about all the Combinables packages. In fact, all the Transformers packages these days for Deluxes are exactly the same. There's there's no real imagination. There's no real anything behind them. Um, so we'll just get on and show you the figure itself. And I haven't even got. Uh, uh, take him out of the box. I can throw away the box now. Look, look fucking great. There's another one down. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just transform him into vehicle mode. You can see how fucking out of practice I am with this shit, can't you? Jesus, I've got to get back into this properly. Um, and then we'll take a look at the figure itself once I've finished fucking about with it. Okay, before I show off uh, Rook's alt mode, okay, I'm just gonna show you some of the things that he came with. He comes with um, an instruction booklet and a uh, a little art card thing that I forgot to bring down here, um, which goes. Uh, some way to show how what a travesty of a review this is going to be. Um, he comes with a, a fork. At least I think that's what it is. Um, maybe maybe a, a pincer. Um, I, I've got no fucking idea what that is supposed to be. It's shite, whatever it is. Um, and he also comes with... Now, I, I, people should know already my feelings about these. These are fucking bollocks, right? Oh, if, if, you, if it's like that and plugged into the uh, thingy, it's a gun. But if you turn it upside down, it's a foot. And then if you pull this fucking bit of shit out here, and then move this bit round, it's a hand. It's like, the, these things are fucking, every single one of them had exactly the same design plate thing, like whatever these are. These are shit, right? But whatever, what do I know? And this is Rook in his APC assault mode, a, a fucking vehicle mode thing. Um, and, you know, you can take his fork, right, and then plug it into the top, like that. Right, and then if you're that way inclined, I'm there, or on the other side. Those those are basically your options for weapon storage on this thing. Okay, or you can put this there, and that there, and just sort. Of, or oh, I don't know. Fucking, you stick that on the back there, and put this one on the other end. They, they still look shit, doesn't matter what fucking order you put these in, right? These look fucking crap. Um, the actual vehicle mode is alright. It's, it's, a, it's a tidy little APC fucking police SWAT team fucking whatever, whatever, this, whatever this is. Shite, right? Transformation, I mean, just a little bit more detail on it would have been nice. Uh, Alright, you've, you've got some silver picking out some detail there. Uh, again, uh, always with the moulded detail in the plastic, just not picked out very well by the fact that it's, it's all one colour. Um, 
I'm, I might have to get myself one of those little sharpie things where I can paint in the wheels, but then again, if I do it with him, I've got to do it with every other fucking um, deluxe I've got up there. Paint the fucking wheels when I shouldn't have to, whatever. Um, transformation for this guy is not difficult. You raise up this forward panel, right, like that. Just get that out of the way. Um, get these arm sections out the way, like that. And then split this section apart and then fold them out just like that okay turn the whole thing around it's, it's virtually it's virtually done right virtually done bring these bottom sections up to form the feet um, and then from there I don't know you, you fiddle about with the arms so they're like that and then straighten these parts up is that the right way round? Yeah, yeah, that's the right way round. There's, there's a little tab just here with his fucking head on it, right? You flip that up like that, and then the whole backpack comes up like that. And that is Rook in his robot mode. A very nondescript, mostly inoffensive design. Um, a little bit loose in the legs there but I think that's probably because he's supposed to be like sort of that's supposed to be his like elbow joint or whatever it, in arm mode make that what you will um, nothing to like sort of cover up this shit here right so not a, a little panel that flips around the back to I know it's a deluxe but just like fill that in because that looks like shit um, he's for the most part as a bot he's actually as a bot he's okay in a vehicle he's okay but he's Again, just something just not quite there, not grabbing the imagination. Actually, decent head sculpt, won't take that away. Nice, decent head sculpt, but let's give him his weapons, ladies and gentlemen. Because he doesn't actually have fist holes, he's got these fucking things down here. And then you plug his fork um, in, the in, the, in the end of it like that. So he could be, like, sort of chief barbecue cooker or something like that. Standing there, flipping the sausages with his fork or his pincers. Um, and then, I don't know, you stick that on his side. And it's like, these things, they're shit. There's nothing you can do with these. These are shit. Do you know what, right? I mean, I, I bought three sets of combined ones. I bought the Stunt the Cons, the Aerial Bots, and the Protector Bots. I actually kind of still want the Combat Cons just to say I've got the four, right? But let's be honest here, they're not the greatest little figures in the world. They're really not. Again, I guess, harking back to their G1 um, origins there. You know, the originals were shit. Let's continue that theme and make the updated version shit. Rook is a new character. Um, uh, they released Groove. They released Groove as a, as a chest plate uh, edition. But then Takara actually did a, a new version of Groove, like a, a deluxe, which is, you know, cool. Um, so you've got, like, an extra team member. Um, for him, the aerial bots, um, the standard cons, I think, well, I don't know what the combat cons had. Um, but everyone's like got an additional team member in case, you know, just to shake things up a bit. Um, uh, yeah, this review has been shit, ladies and gentlemen. I'm fully aware of that. Um, much like the subject matter itself. Um, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um, I'm not enthralled by it, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, he's got some decent articulation on him, for the most part, I suppose. Uh, yeah, there we are. Um, but... He, he doesn't he doesn't scream excitement to me in any way shape or form um, yeah so there we are if you've got one and you think he's alright then fair play to you if you don't have one and you think he's alright fair play to you if you want to get one get one if you don't don't it's entirely up to you um, my collection is um, it doesn't gain anything by having this in it quite frankly um, doesn't lose anything particularly um, but this isn't one of those figures that, unlike sort of Titans Return trigger happy, that sort of jump out at you and go, look how fantastic I am. This guy just sits there going, yeah, I'm all right. Bit nondescript, but I'm all right. And that's exactly what he is, nondescript. Um, not very interesting. Um, he's just there. He's, he's literally, as like the extra team member they've invented, he's just there to bolster numbers in your collection. That's pretty much all he's there for. Um, so, yeah. How about that for a few? Fucking absolutely no effort in, on my part whatsoever. Very much like um, what Hasbro had to offer there. So thank you very much for watching this review, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gerald Gavin Barry, also known as Wolfgang1, saying next time I come back and do a review, I might put a little bit more fucking effort into it. I might actually be here, as opposed to just going through the motions.
cannot be bothered to do this review again. So, um, so you just have to put up with it. So until we see each other again next time, when my review will be um, Combiner Wars Blade, Blades, Lead Hotspot, then Defensor. I actually want to go. I want to review something else. I want to review Masterpiece Sideswipe or some shit like that. I'm, I'm fucking. The reason it's taken me so long to do this is because I go, oh, I'll do another review. Oh, God, I'm still doing the combiner wash. These are fucking bollocks. So, until we see each other again, take care.